Gentlemen, Cage Door set to close on this amateur bantamweight competition. Harry Kenworthy fighting out of the blue corner, the black venom trunks trimmed with red, takes on Tom Sr. from Body Tough Jim Sub Alliance in the black venom trunks, not trimmed with red. And, uh, we've already, 10 seconds into this fight, we've already seen some spinning ninja stuff. Yeah, the young man fighting out of the red corner, Tom Sr. 17 years old. And you can see the difference in body types. Yeah. Like, but this, this, going this, after this. this skinny little lad's <laughs> going after it, you know. It. You don't want to be a, you don't want to be one of those bullies in schools that misinterprets no. this kid's bail. Oh, no, you don't want to make that rookie error. Kenny Wor Kenworthy now, the more experienced of the fighters. This is sixth amateur contest. Has to fight down inside control, and this is where that physicality can play a bit of a difference. Oh, he yeah. is certainly a, a, a thicker set young man. Yeah, definitely. And that's the thing with these young fighters. Yes! Knee to the body! Knee to the body, you give it. That's it, you can leave now. That's you can it, retire. I'm done. That's it, bye. Again, again, <laughs> yes! <laughs> but yeah, it's. Um, you know, people mature at different. Like Paddy Pimlet started off at 62, right? Yeah. And, and he went, it wouldn't even cut him for that. Yeah, no, that's true. And then worked his way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just through development, you know, just worked his way up, and now he's cutting to 65. It's, yeah. uh, it's senior though. I'm not sure senior had the ground has the ground game that Paddy had at that. It, no, that no, was, that was, I, I experienced that first time. That was something special. You yeah. knew you were in there with something special when you were in there with Paddy. <laughs> Certainly, the, the, the way he could use jiu-jitsu in the most offensive ways. I nearly called the ref for a foul. I thought he'd run an extra two legs. He, uh, he went everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we've got, we've got Ken Worthy here just on top and just chipping away. And... S just a testament to the length of um, Senior's limbs. He's got a body triangle yeah, on from he, the guard. He managed to get him, pull himself into that position. And given that how he exploded onto the scene in the first round, he may be looking for that stand-up, you know. Absolutely, just being bullied a little bit by the slightly larger opponent. Size and experience here, that's a, that's a big part of the ground game. And, Lock, he's trying to lock him down good and proper, though. I mean, with the exception of a few, you know, chopping shots to the side, they, they're yeah. not, not a lot you're doing from there. No, and that there, for me, that's a debatable stand-up position. You know, if, if all you're doing is tickling the sides with a couple of rabbit punches, yeah, OK, you're being busy, you can argue the toss, but nothing's happening. Yeah. Ten seconds left in this round. Our I'm referee Paul Crod not even not even considering the stand up. No, because Ken Worthy keeps on breaking the grips. Yeah. He keeps on, you know, popping up. He's doing enough work, and, and you know, he's he's looking good in there. He's not just getting tied down. If he gets tied down, he's clearing those grips. He's posturing back up. So if you're in the corner of the 17-year-old young man from Body Tough Gym Sub Alliance, Tom Senior, what are you telling him? Do what you're doing, but don't run forward. On the feet, that's the only... He ran into a takedown. Yeah. OK? Um, it's easy when you're young and you're eager, and, and you've got to want to do this to be doing it at 17. Yeah. OK? So you want to be in there. You want to fight. There's something in you that's a fighter. You're coming forward, yeah? You're throwing them shorts. Step back. Yeah. Assess, assess this situation. Because he carried on running around in a circle, he got caught in a takedown, which in my opinion, could have thrown away the round for him. Yeah, I, th yeah, I, th yeah. I, th I think it probably probably ended up going to the fighter in the blue corner. Even though Eric Hanworthy. he did more damage. Yep. You know, and that's just the way the game plays out. But as you can see, he's very eager to get in there. He runs forward on everything. Yeah. And as you can see, Ken Worthy's just thinking, hey, 
I'm going to catch you. I'm going to take you for a ride. Yeah, I'm a bigger lad, bigger, stronger lad than you. And short people usually do have the best center of gravity against tall people when it comes to wrestling. I love yeah. wrestling tall people. It's easy work. Yeah. You know, it's when you're wrestling someone shorter than you that all of a sudden you've got a problem. Seeing you, though, got to be doing something more than just protecting himself with his back up against the cage yeah. now. Ken Worthy looking to try and get some posture. Trying to pop that head out. I see. And, uh, I mean, this is this is why the still amateur. You know, he's one fight in, his senior. He's one fight in. He, he does a lot of good things. But then, like, holding on for dear life, th yeah. that's going to cash your arms out. If you do get that separation, look, you're on your back, right? You've got to work out of there. If you hold on, you're still on your back. If you try work out here, you might get lucky. Can we be looking to get looking to get that posture now? Yeah. And just sitting on that hip, but as you can see there, Senior's trying to scoot out. Yep. He just needs to just needs to let go a little bit. The only thing that hindered him from oh. escaping then was his own arm. But beautiful work there, just chopping away at the jaw of Senior, Kenworthy still in that dominant position and yeah. just we have seen you right in his own corner perhaps going to be given some advice as to how to get up from this position but again harry kenworthy showing that six fight experience not rushing anything yeah happy to happy to hold here deep half guard yep I mean, if he takes this round, which he's on his way to doing, he's two rounds up. Play, yeah, with, play the safe game. Take him down. Do what you're doing. Don't get excited. You know, that's when you see people run into a knockout. Yeah. Don't get excited. Do what you're doing. I mean, chances are, Senior's going to come running at Kenworthy in the third round, striking. You know, he's going to catch the takedown because he's done it twice before. Yeah. It's a beautiful display, though, by... Um, Kenworthy just to stay on top. Yeah, I mean, he's 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 working hard, he's staying composed, he's landing when he needs to, he's not letting Senior set anything up from his back. Now, I want Senior to look back at this round and I want him to think, right, I don't want to be in this position again. He's got all the limbs to be a very tricky jiu-jitsu player off his back. Yeah. You know, he is slim, he is tall, he's going to get taken down if somebody's good at, you know, and got the heart set on taking him down. What can he do from here? Yeah, make him, you got, you got to make yeah. him think about taking you down if Go, that's the case. Get that white belt on, turn up to your jiu-jitsu gym yeah. and just work off your back. Because he's got a lot of talent, 17 year old, and oh. he's, he's got the fight in him, I'll give him that, you know, he's got some hands on him. But he's just, he, whether it's a physical or a technical, you know, difference here, He's getting pinned down on his back and he spent a good, I'd say, five or yeah. six minutes there. Not old enough to go and buy a beer, but old enough to entertain us in the cage where his opponent can go for a beer after. That's it, yeah. I mean, and I like that. I'm looking I'm looking over at Ken Worthy, right? And, yep, he's listening to his coaches, going through the thing. But there's some kind of, like, I want to say sadistic, Smug smile on, uh, you know, he's just loving it in there. Yeah. He's loving it in there. He's got to know he's down, but he's just loving being in well, there. Well, again, you know, sometimes you, you, you learn as much as from a loss as you do yeah. from a win, and we still got three minutes. He's still got three minutes. That's it. I'm not fate. writing him off. I saw what he did in the first round. Yeah, see, knowing that my opponent wants to wants to get in on me, I'm not sure I'd be throwing. No, there's a lot of kicks coming, and that's something that you know, obviously, your coach would sit down and. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you were going to go for something there. <laughs> thought he was kind of yeah, climbing up for a jumping triangle or. Hey, he just did two knees to the body. Two knees. And I missed it. Come on, more knees to the body. I mean, he looks so heavy on top. He does, yeah, yeah. There's a. Uh, I don't know. This oh, oh, beautiful lovely. work! This is what you want to see out of Senior. You want to see him move, let go, and move. It, he let go of the grip. He moved. Yeah, I mean, he exploded into that. Looked like he was going to try and take the neck, but yeah. Kenworthy wise to it. Gets into the side, side control. 
Camp. Very hard to finish a choke from there. Yeah. Steps over now. Yeah, and Ooh. then he had to let go. He of had that. to let go because that head and arm would have popped on. Although I did like the sly attempt at the uh, Von Flew choke by Ken Worthy at side control. I'm not calling it a Sem Flew choke, I won't do it. No, it's the Von Flew <laughs> choke. <laughs> and again, sitting high up and heavy now. That's it. And as you can see, he's booking for his life right now. He's senior, but his hips are not connected to Ken Worthy's hips, so he's not going to move him. Yeah. No sneaking out the back door here. No. And again, this is good control from Harry Kenworthy, Hammond North Wells, man. Again, that high mount, knees right under the arms. Yep. Is he going to force his man's head up against the cage? And right now, Senior was keeping himself there by holding on. Yep. Um, you know, it's easy to want to grip, but Kenworthy going to work right now. I don't think he wants it to see the judge's decision, even though you've got to think if it did right now, He's in a he's in a great position. No, it should be in a should be in a peachy keen position, but you know th this round playing it out this way, chipping away whenever he can. Yeah. Not giving up anything. That's it. If you if you're winning, if you're up, if you feel like you're winning and you're up, I, I don't know sometimes what judges see, but you know we've had some good judging tonight and at AFC shows. So uh, you know if you're winning and you're up. Why put everything on the line? Yeah, it makes no sense to me either. This is a this is a mature performance. I'm sure if the opportunity for the finish presented itself, you take it. But you wouldn't go hunting. And I mean, with the rise of like the IMMAF and you know other big organizers, amateur fights matter. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and it can set you in good stead. Look at Mohammed Makiev. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You know, you do well at amateur level. That guy's going into 20, pro. 20, like, 23 and 0 as an amateur now. Two-time yeah. world champion. One time. He's sponsored time by Under Armour or something. Yeah, yeah, you know this. This guy, like, he's made that out of amateur. <laughs> so, a wicked fight there, and a great dominance shown by Kenworthy. Um, but both guys have got such a bright future oh, ahead of them. Without question. Again, you know, Ken Kenworthy there. That experience, yeah, paid off. But you know, you only get it one experience. You only get experience one way, and that's fighting tough opponents. And I have no doubt that's what Tom Senior is going to take away from this. Definitely. Let's make this one official.